We try to keep the radiation dose people get as low as reasonably possible. And this is particularly relevant for people who work with radiation. For example, technicians at hospitals and workers at nuclear power plants. Since being around radioactive materials is part of their job, there are three approaches to reduce the dose from being irradiated by it. Keeping your distance, using shielding, and reducing the amount of time you're exposed. For example, the thick glass in this hot cell for working with radioactive materials provides shielding, and the remote-controlled arm allows the technician to work with the radioactive material at a distance. These health professionals have their schedules planned so they minimise the time they spend near the radioactive source in this cancer treatment machine. The best way to stop being unnecessarily irradiated is to reduce contamination. To stop radioactive material ending up where it shouldn't be, you ideally want to make sure it's a solid that's very difficult to dissolve in water. These pieces of scrap metal from a nuclear power plant are set in cement, which keeps them in one place. If your radioactive source is temporarily a liquid or a gas, then you need to make sure it's in a container that it can't escape from. For example, when this radioactive tracer is injected into the patient. If you're deliberately releasing it into the environment, for example as a medical or environmental tracer, then you want to make sure it has a short half-life so it stops being radioactive fairly quickly.